Well, Casey here with CL Creative, where I'm teaching you web design and web flow one video at a time. And today we're going to talk about some of the pseudo states that you can add to your buttons as well as to your links. And we're going to demystify the current state. Sometimes it's pretty difficult to understand how you might uh, get access to that state in Webflow as well as how you might style that state. But we're going to look at that. We're going to figure that out together. And I'm also going to help you put some cool, you know, easy, simple hover effects on some of the buttons. Maybe we'll get into some more advanced effects in, in some future videos. But today we're going to keep it simple. I'm going to show you just how to add the hover state to your buttons and to your links as well as how to add the current state. So let's jump to the computer check things out. All right, well, here we are in the computer. And one of the things that we're going to look at, this is one of my client sites that I've built, but I need to build out some different hover animations for these buttons, as well as in the navigation, I need to make these uh, a current state. Um, so let me show you how to do that. It's super easy, but it's something that, that really adds a lot to the website. And so you see, if I hover over these, nothing really happens. Um, if I go to the about page, you can't really tell which page you're on. You know, they're all exactly the same. These do have hover animations on them, as you can see, but, but the, but they all look exactly the same. And so we need to fix that. So one of the things that, that is super helpful to do is to add in a current state. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do here to begin with. So we're gonna click on the nav bar and I have this set up as a component, so that's why it looks a little bit different. And you're gonna click on this navigation link. Now, when I clicked on that, if you notice over here, it says current. And there's a little bit of trick to get to this. You really have to be on that particular page. So I am on the about page. That page is linked right here about pop candy which is the about page and when i click on the link that is on that page then i will get the current state if if i'm not on that page if i don't have that link there then i'm not going to get the current state so look if i click on insights there the current state is not there if i click on gift card the current state is not there so you have to be on the page that this link belongs to in our case, about. Now we can make some changes. We can style this so that it'll have this current style. What I like to do, uh, and what, what is you know really easy to do, is just to reduce the opacity a bit for that particular element. You could change the color if you would like. In this case, um, you know my hover state. If I look at if I look at that, my hover state in this case is is not really doing well let me click over here on this one my hover state it, it looks like you know the color might be might be changing um let's see so the hover state it's changing to 75 percent opacity in this particular case so a lot of times what i like to do is reduce the opacity i either use if i go back into this i either use the opacity down here uh, in the effects panel or I will use it directly in this color. So in this case, let's just go ahead and match the hover state, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna click in the insights and I'm gonna see what I have for that at 75. So let's click back over here. We're gonna on our current, this is what we're styling right now. We're going to click in here. It's the same exact color. All I'm going to do is change this to 75. Now, all of the links with a current state in the nav bar, as you notice, there's a slight difference here. Not, not too much of a difference, but a slight difference that you can tell. Uh, we could maybe even reduce that a little bit. Or, like I said, you could change the color on this, and that can make a big difference as well. But in this particular case, all I have done is changed the opacity a little bit. If I click back on insights, you notice that that has changed. If you click on gift cards, you notice that that has changed as well. So that takes care of the current state that takes care of, you know, helping us understand that. So now what we need to do is we need to update our buttons. 
so that there's a hover state on these particular buttons. And creating a hover state is pretty, pretty simple. I have a style, which is button. All I'm going to do is click on hover. Once I click on the hover, now I can come down here and I can make whatever style change it is that I want to make. And so in this particular case, we need to think about, okay, what would be a good hover state for a button that's really bright like this? Uh, in, in a lot of instances, what I might do is just first check and see, okay, what does it look like if I just reduce the opacity a little bit, maybe down to say like 85. Uh, and so we can look at that and we can just see. So that does clearly tell us that we are hovering over this particular, this particular button. And maybe 85 might, might be a little bit. So maybe we want to bring that to just say, just say 90. So it gives us just a slight change there. Now the next thing that we need to do, remember we click up here in the style selector, we click on hover, now we make our change. But we need to make sure that our transition from non-hover to hover state is, is really nice. And so in order to do that, you have to go back to the normal state. So we're going to click back on none. We still have our button selected. And then you're going to click on transitions. When you click on that, the first one here is opacity. Uh, but there are many other ones that you can actually choose from. In our case, we're going to choose opacity because this is the one that we have affected. I like to bump this up to 250, uh, sometimes even 300, just to give it a, a nicer look. Ease up is, is fine. And you see it gives just a little bit nicer look. If I click on the preview, you can see that. A little nicer look. Uh, and then all the ones, all these buttons right here, because they have the same class of button, are going to have this same hover state as we go down the page. Now, what we need to do is we need to take care of these secondary ones. This, this one is changing too. Uh, I'll show you. Because it has button, but it also has is secondary as a combo class applied to that. So what we actually need to do here is we need to create a hover state for this combo class. So I'm clicked on this button. I'm going to click back on hover. And, and in this case, what I might want to do is actually just change it to this color completely. And so let, let's do that. So we're going to look, go to color. Um, we are going to choose the color of that, which is button magenta. And well, this is actually, I'm sorry, this is actually changing our font. So we don't want to change, we want to change the font to white. So let's change the font to white first. Now what we want to do is come down here to background and we want to change this button to magenta. Okay. So now if I click off of that and I hover back on it, you notice that the button is changing to magenta like that. So again, what we need to make sure that we do is we style the transition state. So we are on none, or we style the transition on the none state. We're on none, not on hover. You can't style the transition state on hover. We're on none. We're going to go down here to transition. You notice tr the opacity is already there because it is giving us, if, if you notice, the opacity from our first hover state that we set up but we need to do a little bit more because you couldn't really see that with this particular button so what we want to do is we want to add another transition to that and and in this case what we actually did is we affected two more properties so we affected the background color property and we're going to change this to 250 just to keep it consistent now you want to click off so that we can add another one right now we have two background color and opacity added we're going to click this again and the other thing that we affected was the font color if you remember so we're going to click on font color and then we're going to click on 250 now we have three transitions applied to this particular button and if I click preview just so we can get rid of all the other stuff here you notice that it makes a nice transition for us it's not too fast it's not too slow it's just right it's just letting us know that we are hovering over that button this one here is letting us know by giving us an opacity change. This one is giving us a color as well as an opacity change here. 
And so here we get that opacity change again here and all throughout the site. We're getting our cover change as well as a little bit of an opacity change on this one too. Now the last thing that we need to check is these right here have a hover state on them. It's very slight, but we need to make sure that we set our current state on our footer links as well. And so currently, let's see what page we're on. We're currently on the home page. I'm actually just going to navigate over to the about page. Remember, we need to make sure that we are on the page where we want to style this. Edit, about, again, the current pseudo class comes up and that's because we are on the current page and it's very important that link has to be the same and then all we're going to do here is uh, we're going to reduce the opacity so we're going to bring this down to say 75 percent just so we know that we are on that particular page these are small subtle things but they really help elevate the design as well as they help navigate people through the site so that when they come down here in the footer uh, they know they're on the about page because this has been reduced in opacity a little bit and and in this case we might even want to reduce it just a little bit just a little bit more so let's let's actually go down to say 65 percent and that will give us a, a little bit more change so now it's it's a bit more uh, noticeable we're still getting our hover state here as well as we know that we are on the about page so that, that's that's a quick look at our hover states uh, that's also a quick look at the current state which can be a little bit confusing <music>